Goalkeepers Heidelberg United playing against Sydney Olympic, the semi finals of the Johnny Walker Cup. And what a great start to the season for Heidelberg, who incidentally they won the cup just two seasons ago here against Parramatta Eagles. They know this ground fairly well. They defeated Marconi 2 0 also in their first cup game. And Peter Talakis on that day scored an absolute brilliant goal, which many are already considering as one of the goals of the year. They've done it with a relatively young squad. Let's not forget that they've got the likes of uh, Abbasaj and Patikas, Milan Blagojevic, uh, Brian McNichol, who's on the bench today, Danny Gnidic coming back from injury, and two Serbian players joining their ranks in the next few weeks. And they've brought the likes, as Les, Les mentioned, Miller, Angelo Kudos, Ardoni, Talakis, and Kira Toglu. A different squad for them, and a test today for them also against an experienced Sydney Olympic team. As that newcomer, Radic, promoted today, they've adopted the twin stopper system here with Juric and Radic, the men in the centre of the defence. On the chase now is Angelo Kutos, who's a former teammate of uh, Tony Spiridakos, the Sydney Olympic captain. They both played together at Piedikos in Greece. Milosevic, an offensive role again from him, I would think, particularly with Bacak out injured. Maloney and Tome playing up front. The veteran Alan Scott with a clearance. Played on by Kudos. Vasilavis was in there. So Heidelberg, seven goals they've put away in three cup games. But more importantly, they haven't conceded a goal yet. And Katsi Dilfonos, the goalkeeper, he's out to, to really put in a big game. With Miller on the bench here. Heidelberg have come to Sydney with 16 players. And coach Mikey Ricalo opted for Tom Carapazos and Brian McNichol. Talakis in there fighting with George Soros. Foul against Talakis. And Andy has expected a fairly aggressive start by Heidelberg. I don't think they'll give Olympic, especially their back four, any time on the ball. It's a readjusted back four, and certainly they'll be looking to put them to the test. They've been in super form up front, and that certainly is their strength at this stage. Tomei. And the touch wasn't the best at all. And the clearance coming in from Scott. Too strong there from the veteran. Approaching the 200 mark in appearances in the league. He started with West Adelaide before moving on to the Melbourne Knights. He joined the Burgers back in uh, 1989. Ante Juric trying to slide it through intercept by Tsalakis. And it's not a bad looking ball. The referee waves play on. Tsalakis tagged by Tsakenis. And the Oliru gets it away. There's Barrett, always a tough task. Andrew Vlahos, a young Socceroo to look out for in the future. Scored a goal in Fiji during the qualifying series. And it's another young Socceroo, but a former young Socceroo in Ante Juric. He played along with Tsekenis last year when the Australian side reached the semi-finals. Soros, another young Socceroo, he played in 1991 when our first semi-final appearance occurred in Portugal. It's one of the highlights of the, of the uh, National League in recent years. Although we've lost a lot of players to Europe, a lot of youngsters are getting a chance. And they're getting a chance early. As early on, it's Tomei. Tomei putting the challenge on. It needed a touch of the back post. And I just sense that Brad Maloney was caught flat-footed because if he kept his run, he could have slotted that away. Andy, that was a chance carved out then by Norman Tomei. He turned his defender and got a beautiful cross right at, uh, across the face of the box. And uh, certainly... It's Brad Maloney in a new role. He's been pushed up from midfield in the absence of Johnson and Bakach, and uh, yeah, a little bit more anticipation. He could have had his foot on the end of the opener for Olympic. Cyrus again with that long throw. He's lead away, Evjedinos promoted today to Larkas. Milosevic looking for the free player. Here's Evjedinos. And 
and he beats the challenge, Georgiadis. Here's Kudos in cover. Angelo Kudos had spent several seasons with Piedikos in Greece. He tried with South Melbourne, he had a bit of an injury last season, he couldn't get a contract there and he's with Heidelberg and he's settled into that sweeper role. Vince Estavillo with his old teammate Jim Ziris on the bench. The new coaching uh, group there at Sydney Olympic. Five minutes in, no goals yet. Good header on by Basiliadis. Clearance is there from Milosevic to chase. Alan Scott in cover. Maloney inside, Soros. Salaka staying with him. Maloney again, no one square to feed to. Tome in now, Gedinos. Tsekenis. He tried to slide it through, it was really, it was a good idea. Gedinos in for Tekenis, it's his man, the ball's inside, and well headed away by Scott, but still it's on, Barrett, and down it goes, and it looked like it might have uh, just flicked that left post of Gatsi Tudufanos' goal. Promising move from Olympic. A uh, half chance there, Andy. The long throw found Tekenis, and that ball just evaded Brad Maloney at the back, but encouraging to see David Barrett up so early, and this the bounce. Uh, uh, eluded the keeper then, but you know, a good sign. Barrett and his uh, counterparts in midfield on top at the moment. To Kennis. Avierinos. Tome. On by Maloney. The build-up was impressive. Salakis hasn't seen too much of the ball. I think it is tough uh, on teams, Andy, to be too critical at this early stage of the season. Certainly, lineups are being uh, decided upon in this next couple of weeks, and I suppose you just can't expect uh, teams to gel. I mean, coaches are trying different formations, and you know, games are the important thing, and I'm certain that both teams today are looking for that practice to just fine-tune things. Heidelberg, it's an understatement to uh, talk about their experience. Only three players have played more than 50 games in the National League. And just looking at Sydney Olympics lineup, they've got six or seven players. And now there's the goal. And there's Andrew Vlahos. He'll play those. Don't worry about that. Heidelberg, we talked about a lack of experience. Well, there's a youngster, the young Socceroo has made it 1-0, 15 minutes into the game. The first attempt by Heidelberg, and it's reaped the right sort of dividend as well. We'll put that down to this incisive run by Walter Ardoni, just powered to the byline, at, just with the inside of the left foot. That's a dangerous ball. Well, that shot, you're lucky Ardoni. He gets around Soros. In it comes. And Vlahos claims that goal, 1-0. Wouldn't be too happy with the strike, Andy, but the finish is what it's all about, and the cutback was the thing, uh, a heavy angle on that. And Mike Gibbs really obstructed in sight by uh, the defenders in front of him then. But a good start for the visitors. Well, they've absorbed most of the pressure, and they're up 1-0. Kudos. Georgiadis. Lajos. Also scored a goal on that 5-0 win against Brisbane. Yeah, 
Yeti Noss. Richard Watson. In contention for the Olympic uh, the Oli Roo lineup. Just a couple of months over age for the young Socceroos. And now the work has to be done by Katsi Tirifos and he's done it very well. Tomei came sprinting through. I was alluding to the uh, lack of uh, experience at this Heidelberg team and it was a, a point that uh, Mike Uricano emphasised before the game to me that he really thinks that his young squad has done extremely well and he's looking forward to the experience coming into the team and he shouldn't be really disappointed. His team has scored eight goals now in the cup and they haven't conceded one. No, a bright opening Andy and he would uh, be the first to admit that it's games under the belt. It's getting out here having first grade experience it's the uh, key to getting off to a good start those first five games of the league season starting next weekend they'll be crucial it's one nil 18 minutes and 20 seconds in let's cross now to les murray Thanks, Andy. Just uh, get a reaction uh, from the two coaches. Mike Uricalo obviously happy about the goal. He's a bit relieved, actually, because he, he thought his team was a little bit nervous, a little bit unsettled before this. Uh, all youngsters, or most of them, as you know. And uh, so he thinks that the goal will, will help settle them. That's the main thing. Vince said, uh, ad admits that it was against the run of play, but he's uh, not too happy about the work of the defence on that goal. He said they opened up a bit too much. He's blaming them for it, but uh, too early to worry too much about it. Certainly his early days. 19 minutes up, Salakis. Michaela Kopoulos. And Ante Juric across. Yes, Vince Estavillo, you don't blame him. The, uh, the defence was really only tested once and they conceded the goal. Well, they weathered the, the storm in the quarter-final and uh, certainly they're going to have to come back. Well, oh, how about that? The line's been on the line. Salakis' header, it looked like it was on its way. And Gibson, with that desperate lunge, has denied Heidelberg a second goal in the 20th minute. And how close was this? Off the post. Well, Andy, a classic example of the ball having to go fully over the line. And uh, one that just slipped through Mike Gibson's fingers, an uncharacteristic mistake by him, but the recovery was good. There's talk that perhaps Glenn Johnson might come into the game fairly soon. Olympic are down 1 0. Ten minutes exactly left on the clock in normal time, and in there was Maloney. Tomei follows through. He's got men on the inside. Maloney's the uh, option man, the keeper. That's good keeping indeed. Coming the angle. Maloney finds himself in a goal scoring opportunity. It stays at 1 0. Yes, yeah, super work from Brad Maloney. It was his uh, aggressive challenge that won possession in the first place. He received. He received the ball back from Norman Term and uh, foiled by the feet of the keeper and uh, that's more like it, more aggression from Olympic. One thing you've got to say about the goalkeeper is that uh, the team noticed this year, particularly uh, in Victoria, they are recruiting experienced keepers everywhere. South Melbourne have more tone and Anastasiadis, Heidelberg have Katsitrifonos and of course David Miller. And it's the same story here at Olympic, George Bohutsos, a former young Socceroo player who had uh, enjoyed NSL experience with Wollongong and also at Parramatta. He's the understudy to Mike Gibson. Mike Gibson has enjoyed his stint with Olympic in his second season after coming down from Newcastle. Get 
Well, if any player deserves credit in this first half from Olympic, it's Branko Milosevic, I think. It's been a pretty impressive team display from Heidelberg. A bit slow out of the blocks. But Andy, they have uh, come as visitors and really slipped into gear after that uneasy first 15 minutes. They've looked quite good. They've been shutting any uh, play down by Olympic and it's their pressure that's uh, stopped Olympic having any good build-up and it's the service into midfield and up front that hasn't been exactly what Olympic probably would have desired. And the voice you could hear calling the shots is Spiridakos. He's under some pressure there from Andrew Vlahos, the man of the moment for Heidelberg. Well, they held off. Now to Kennis. That's a clever dummy. They would have expected that from a player. This color. And the save again. Katsikrifonos. That's more like the Olympic of old. Yeah, nice build up, nice finish. Uh, George Soros on the end of that half chance. And he tried to bend it just around. And a touch. Tome will keep this in. Down goes Katsitrifonos. He's been busy in the last 15 minutes. The possession of play by Olympic, looking for the runners off the ball. There was Kudos. He's not happy with that decision from the referee Brett Hugo. Will he go for goal? He plant of yet he also go deep. He's going for goal and he scores! Great go Milosevic with one of the better goals you'll see from a set piece. He fooled them all. There wasn't enough men on that wall. I think there was only two players. Milosevic with that bending shot. They'll probably blame the keeper, then the players in that wall, because it's the keeper's job to set up that wall, well, Robbie. The inquiry could be on Andy, but let's give credit to Branko Milosevic. He saw there was only a two-man wall, saw that near post gap, and he was the one that struck it beautifully into the open goal. And how important is Branko Milosevic to the side? That is the injection of uh, hope that Olympic really needed. They're back in the game just before half-time. At long last, I'm right, Robbie. I picked it, mate. Brank Milosevic, the best player for Olympic in this first half. And while that was going on, uh, there was another Heidelberg player booked for some back chatting, I would think. Peter Tsalakis goes in the book. Heidelberg have just got to keep their cool here. They've dictated the game for a major part and now another booking. And I think that's uh, Doni, or was it Kirit Soglu?
and they booked they booked Ardani for that challenge. I, I don't know, Robbie. Um, I don't think that was a bookable offence. Well, Andy, it's the uh, more experienced players if there are. Well, they're not too many in uh, Heidelberg starting 11, but they've just got to settle here because Olympic showed in the quarterfinal that they're really capable of uh, tearing a team apart if they can take advantage. Here's Gibson. Well, that's confident play from a keeper. Good control, flag up, it's Tomei. 1-1 one, one the scoreline. There's just under three minutes of normal time left in the first half. And Heidelberg have got three players in the referee's book. Uh, Danny Talakis and Kudos. And it was the five minutes leading up to that goal, Andy, five to ten minutes. It was Olympics best. They really started to put things together in a lot more orderly fashion and that goal was timely for them. Well, it's been said a thousand times before, Robbie. Uh, the last five minutes and the first five minutes are the most dangerous of the game. Particularly uh, in this case here. Heidelberg a bit shaky in the first 5, 10, 15 minutes. And then they scored through Ahos in the 15th. They looked well in control from there on until around the 35 minute mark when uh, Olympic started to put together some very threatening moves which Katsu Tudifnos handled well. And they struck with that delightful free kick from Milosevic. Now Tsalakis, and you know the shot he's got. Defences around Australia fear the shot of Peter Tsalakis. It's a great ball through. Tsalakis had a quick look and straight at the keeper. Injury time now. The first semi-final in the Johnny Walker Cup competition. Prelude to the National League. Tomei was looking for Milosevic. With Soglu on. Andrew Vlahos, he's been impressive in the first half. And he's made space, he's checked off his marker on several occasions and uh, operating down that left channel, he is a, a danger for them, but really what a, a, a situation we've got here. One all at half time, a cup final position at stake. And certainly there's some work for both coaches at halftime to discuss tactics for the second half. How would you approach it in the second half, Robbie? Well, I think um, Olympic, to me, were slow to start again. And I think uh, once they do get a bit of momentum, they're, they're a very strong force. They'll be looking to have Milosevic more involved. He is pushed up to join Maloney and Tomo on several occasions. I think that's a good sign. That'll probably be a booking hit. Just trying to see the player involved, and it is Kurtzoglu who's given him a red. Kurtzoglu goes. You'll see this on replay. Now, I'm just wondering, Robbie, whether he's given him a yellow first and pulled out a red. Because on our records, Kurtzoglu wasn't booked earlier. It was a clumsy challenge in injury time in the first half. And what a way to finish the half, particularly Heidelberg. They had the bookings after the goal, the send-off. And that's what I think the players are asking because what you might find here, the referee has got the players mixed up, I think, because I'm sure he pulled out a yellow. I think that uh, the referee pulled out a yellow and then pulled out the red, and that's probably what the players are arguing because it was Kudos, Tsalakis and Ardo who were booked first. There's the incident. I'm not sure if we've got the referee there. Well, Andy, despite all the protests from Heidelberg players, the game really hangs in the balance. Probably the momentum has swung in favour of Olympic, who find themselves again. In... Either way, it's one half time. We'll see if we can pull out that incident again. 
and to Marconi Stadium. We're replaying that incident again. Now, Alex Kiritsoglu, he gets a yellow card for this now. It was a second yellow. We've been officially told that Kiritsoglu was booked for back chatting after Branko Milosevic had scored the equalising goal late in the first half. Second yellow, it's a red card. Heidelberg down to 10 players. And now they certainly have the job in front of them after dominating in the early periods of this game. And that's what the players are still a bit upset about there. We thought that uh, it was Tsalakis, in fact, who'd been booked for back chatting. And that had happened during the replays of that Branko Milosevic goal. So I hope that uh, clarifies exactly why Heidelberg are down to 10 men. It actually happened to Olympic in both games against Parramatta. They were reduced to 10. And Olympic, of course, in the all-blue strip with the white on the front of their jerseys. They have, in fact, made a change. Glenn Johnson is out there. What you'll find is that Olympic have taken off one of their central defenders. And it looks like the player is Radic. Johnson is on, in fact, for Angelo Radic. So they'll play with that uh, four-man defence. Well, with Spiridaka sweeping, Urich stopping, and well, Soros has dropped back, in fact, as a marker as well. So hick up Michaela Kopoulos and Urich on Vlahos. They'll keep on alternating, I would think, because Michaela Kopoulos and Vlahos move around quite a bit. Here they are. Now Tsalakis, the drive! And just wide by Peter Tsalakis. He likes this end. He scored a goal against Marconi in the first cup game. Less than a minute in. Well, Andy, the best form of uh, defence is attack, and certainly, numerically, Heidelberger down in the second half, down to 10 players against a Sydney Olympic side that exploited that situation in the quarterfinals to precision, and uh, you'd expect that to be a similar case here tonight, but uh, Peter Salakis certainly is going to have a lot to say in the second half. Olympic faced a 10-man zebra lineup during the extra time period and for a few minutes in the second half last Sunday and they wore them down to 3-1. This will be a real test for Heidelberg now. Particularly for the younger players. Body checked by Maloney. Vlahos couldn't get around him. And you'd imagine the formula remains pretty similar for Olympic in this second half. To leave um, two men marking at the back in the centre and probably one fullback picking up an attacking midfielder of Heidelberg and the uh, other fullback really forcing his way into the midfielders, getting past and providing the service for their front runners. So they'd be used to it, Andy, after uh, only several days ago being in a similar situation. was Kudos. Alicopoulos. Yerimos comes back. Lajos. Salakis inside. That's about all for him. Well, they've opened up, and that's a vicious-looking shot from the teenage striker, Andrew Lajos. Mike Rakala looks uh, fairly impressed with that, and so he should be. Well, another good run here, and you'd have to uh, give a lot of credit to Heidelberg. They've come out fighting in the second half, and in the opening seven minutes, they've really uh, made the most of a couple of good chances. They'll have to continue to balance things between defence and attack. They just can't afford to overcommit in attack, but it's the uh, players coming through from midfield. They're going to really serve them well. Maloney on Kudos. This will be interesting to see what the referee does here. He's pulled out the red. Red card. It wasn't really needed, that challenge. Kudos was jocking the ball out, and Maloney gets a red card. Well, Andy, Brad Maloney's walking away now with a stunned look on his face. It was an unnecessary challenge from behind and certainly that rule has come through from FIFA about the tackle 
on the left back on the goal line. I mean, that is a fairly strict interpretation of the rules by referee Brett Hugo. But uh, we are now back to 10 against 10, and certainly we've got a semi final on our hands. Now a match can turn, and it has for both teams. Kirit Soglu and Kudos, uh, rather Kirit Soglu and Maloney in the dressing room. Kudos off the field, he's back on though. It looked like he was going to be treated, but he must be okay. 10 against 10, 1-1 one, one the score. 12 minutes into the second half. Juric's okay, ball intercepted by Tsalakis. Trying to squeeze it on for Vlaos. Milosevic dispossessed. Tsalakis couldn't get it through. And they had the numbers up there, Heidelberg. One thing's for certain, Robbie, it's going to be a more open game as well. Certainly will. It's uh, a situation now, a lot more space. Back to even uh, tennis side, and I think some people have put this forward as a, an experimental idea, Andy, 10 against 10, and it's not what both coaches would have wanted. It'll be a nervous time in this second half. Here's McNichol. He had a bit of a groin problem, which forced him out of the uh, interstate series between Queensland and New South Wales in the off-season. Now it's Alakis. Soros. Johnson trying to slip it inside Ardoni for Michaela Kopoulos. He's shaken Spiridakos almost. Oh, that's experience at the back for Olympic. It just looked like Michaela Kopoulos was on his way. There's a clumsy challenge from Richard Watson. But he had a classic tackle from Tony Spiridakos. Really blocked the ball and the run just before this incident. And uh, the only thing I suppose you could say is there was no depth behind him. So if he had got away, it was one on one situation. Yeti Nos finding Tomei. And again, it's good cover at the back for Heidelberg. Where it's due, Richard Watson doing his job there. Getting us with it not on. Barrett will keep this one in. Johnson. Oh, he still found the space. The free header. And wide the mark from Ante Juric or Evgenos. Bit of Johnson, jo yes, yeah, it's Johnson great work. magic here. No question, well inside the line. And there was of Yeti Nos. It was a, uh, a good free header, but there were people on both posts, Sandy, and the keeper well positioned centrally. But uh, that's the type of thing Glenn Johnson can do. It hasn't been a bad game at all tonight. So a fairly good game. Well, not a fairly good game, a good game on, on Sunday between the Zebras Olympic. The Zebras might be out of the competition, but they show that uh, they'll certainly win more games than they lose this season. Lajos, the player on the ground. Thirty minutes left in this game. One won the score. Both these teams were eliminated in the first round of the cup last season. And the season before that, Heidelberg victorious here against Parramatta Eagles. Soros away. Now a couple of right behind him. Let's do it again. And by Tomei. Scott up, Kudos, Johnson right down his throat, now Barrett, Tomei swings to the left if he wants him, 
That's where he's aimed for. Watson looks over his shoulder. These two players aim for Oli Roos' selection, in fact. Nickel goes down. The referee waves play on. And he lost back. Tomei looking for Johnson. Milosevic. Barrett. Johnson back for Milosevic. Inside, Johnson misses it. Evgenos shot blocked by Watson. Tomei should have gone first time. Well, a series of events, Andy, an exciting series of events because once again it was a one-two combination. Glenn Johnson fed the ball back to Milosevic and really Johnson could have struck that one, but the shot fell to Olympics left full back in the uh, second chance was uh, defended well by Heidelberg. That second chance fell to Norman Tomei, but good play again from both sides in attack. Olympic now starting to build well with a good one-two combination. Certainly more goals to come in this half. Just in case you've tuned in, you're watching the Johnny Walker Cup semi-final between Olympic and Heidelberg, the other one to be decided tomorrow night in Melbourne. Between South Melbourne and the Knights. It's 1-1 one, one here, both men, uh, both teams down to 10 men. Kept in, here's the ruling, Salakis. Near post, Michaela Kopoulos goes for the fancy work. There was nothing much more he could really do. Diagonal run across. That's the danger of Heidelberg when Olympic look like they're about to do something at the other end. Heidelberg respond. Yeah, super counter thrust then by uh, Heidelberg and it was the triangle of players. Michaela Kopoulos, Vlahos and also um, Salak. And then that's, the, uh, that's a danger, the three of them combining well. Watson through the middle again. Salakis with the overhead. Here's Salakis. And now, Vlahos. It's on his left and he sprays it wide as Michaela Kopoulos comes through. He just hesitated for a brief moment. More frustration for the coach, Uralo, because Heidelberg, no, in this second half, they should have got on the score sheet again. Well, super set up there. The ball just seemed to fall too far back in the stance of Andrew Vlahos then and uh, well he wouldn't be happy with that strike on goals because it, it missed the target and it wasn't intended there for Mikhail Coppers. It would have been a shot he was looking for on goals. A big start again from the back. Spredagos switches to Juric. Kalakopoulos got in there. Now it's onside. He's dangerous with these runs. Is the cross dangerous? But it looked it because Kudos had to stretch for it. Thought there might have been an offside earlier. Milosevic comes across now. I don't need a player to come off. Got a Batsos to come on. Corner there comes off Alan Scott. Change not happening yet. They'll wait for the second corner from Milosevic. Lilinos. Johnson. Johnson ahead of him. And behind is Ardoni. Nice looking ball. The header. The first goal for his new club, and it's the goal that has Olympic ahead for the first time in the game at two goal one. Well, a little special piece of skill from Glenn Johnson. He was the one that accelerated right to the byline and just put an inch perfect cross in to Ante Juric. That's a delightful preparation of the ball. Jumped well and found the free corner. 
Olympic taking the initiative early in this second half. But it was it, there was the acceleration there, and he really did well. Poor marking really in the box. You'd have to look at position of the central defenders there. And a free header. Puts Olympic into the lead. 2-1 in the 27th minute of the second half. Will Heidelberg pay for not uh, taking some of those half chances in the second half? Still time left for them. And 18 minutes of normal time in the game. 2-1 Olympic. Barrett, his challenge paid off. He gets a return from Tony. A fortuitous deflection perhaps, and why? Was it a cross or a shot? I think it was a, cr a, a shot. I think it was a shot, Barrett. He'll tell us it was a cross after the game. Well, after playing that position for too many years, Andy, I think it was a shot. And, uh, well, Dave Barrett took the initiative then. He said, uh, this is going to be my opportunity. Broke through two strong challenges and came up with this uh, opportunity. And uh, it's certainly a bit that are forging ahead. Kennis goes in the book. No shortage of bookings tonight. Two reds, four yellows. Milosevic, that's a delightful ball for Johnson, the keeper came, was there a hand? The referee waved play on straight away, that'll be interesting on the replay, we'll wait for the replay for a few moments because Heidelberg, they're on the counter now, Tsalakis. McNichol, Tsalakis. And off the body of Tsukenis, Tome, they'll turn it around again, Barrett stays up there. And it goes out of play, we might just have a look at that, Johnson was certainly going for goal and going at such a rate that Katsikirifonos knew he had to come off his line. And it's hard to say there, probably hit the body, we'll give the keeper the benefit of that. Scott. Kalikopoulos touches to Tsalakis, the meet. Karapatsos in there with Spiridakos. Georgiadis with a throw from McNichol. Still Georgiadis wins the duel with Milosevic. And now they head out the goal! Nikolakopoulos pulls it back to 2 2. Absolute joy there for Yurikalo. That's a typical finish from this striker, Michael Michalakopoulos. You might recall he did it to South Melbourne a couple of seasons ago. Two headers. And today the header has paid, certainly paid off. 2-2. Well, you've really got to applaud. I'm sure Vincent Sevilla wasn't applauding the goal, but supporters here are applauding that magnificent header. He was heavily marked, Andy. This is the real quality in the goal. And he snuck in just past the defender then it was a, it was onto Yurichi just snuck in front of and what a classic goal 2-2 two, two the score just over three minutes of normal time left 1-1 one, one at half time then onto Yurich with that header in the 27th minute of the second half it was really all Olympic from there they had the better of the uh, chances in front of goal and, and Michaela Coppolis with a delightful header at that near post. 2-2. Two, two. Is there time for a dramatic winner in this game? Rajos. And there was Carapatos. Michaela Coppolis tries to line it up. Alan Scott was the player. They just had a little too much. Georgiatis to McNichol. In comes the cross. That's a good header away. Now the drive. And it's done. Well, it's gone in either way. 
Georgiatis. There'd be big celebrations if it stays at 3-2. He was the man who set up that second goal for Michaelopoulos. And Heidelberg are back in front. And they have, I think, the time on their side. 43rd minute of the second half. What a dramatic comeback. Georgiatis with that final strike. And just seconds before that, well, it looked like they might have wasted it. Signals there from Marky Riccardo, but not satisfied with supplying the second goal. The fullback, Georgiatis, really finished that off class. The ball came, it was set up. The first shot was set back from Scott, but that uh, was a beautiful finish. It looked like it took a touch. It looked like it was off Michaela Coppolis in the middle. I thought it took a deflection. It did, it did come off the chest of uh, Michaela Coppolis, but I think Georgiatis might be credited with the goal either way. They won't care. They, they're leading 3-2. Well, on reflection, Andy, an instinctive touch again from uh, Michael Michaela Coppolis because, uh, well, who cares how they go in, but a smart use of the chest there, but uh, the shot really was a blistering one. And uh, Olympic players and supporters really shell-shocked at the moment because they were sitting pretty there for a moment. But there's time left. There certainly is the last minute, then a couple for stoppages. But I don't think uh, Heidelberg are going to let this one slip. Vlahos, he hasn't stopped all night here. He goes deep. Michaela Coppolis too close to the keeper. Speed the SNC now for Olympic Barrett. Soros. Can Olympic prevent it from being an all Melbourne final on Sunday? Tomei Johnson on his performance as a handball. Yes, the referee was spotted. I'll have a look at we might have a chance to have a look at this on replay. Referee was right down there. Was it intentional? That's the only question here. No, off the knee. It was the knee. The way that the arm swung around, I thought, from our angle here in the commentary position. Well, Heidelberg don't deserve to concede one here. You know, if that was an intentional handball, Kudos had already been booked earlier in the first half, and question could be raised as to why he didn't get a booking. But still, here's the free kick, and splendid save! Katsi Trifonos! The way he's played tonight, he's kept his position for Sunday ahead of Miller. The save of the game. Well, the variation again from Milosevic. He's driven a low, hard shot in before, but that time he opted for an angled shot. Barrett. Plenty of numbers back there. Tsalakis. With a desperate clearance, 46 minutes and 33 on my watch. 3-2 to Heidelberg. And they'll be thanking Katsi Trifonos for that save. And the goal scorers, Tomei, in it comes. The man who put Olympic ahead at 2-1 in the 27th of the second half. He can't pull it back to 3-3. Three, three. It doesn't look like the extra time here again. Two minutes of stoppages played. Heidelberg ahead, three goals to two. And their last two goals have come in the 38th minute of that second half and the 43rd. It goes against Urich. They want to take it quickly, and they have. Lajos, he's got Michaela Coppola deep. He wants it, and he can't get it across. Gibson, it's all over, it doesn't matter. And a sensational finish for Heidelberg United. They're victors, they're into the cup final. They won the cup two seasons ago. They'll be playing either South Melbourne or the Melbourne Knights. What a sensational game, Robbie. Well, five.